guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. I'm Sarah. If you're looking for home style recipes made ketogenic, then you've come to the right channel. And tonight is the 1st of December and we are going to roll out the Christmas recipes. And the first one on board is going to be a low carb eggnog cream pie. And there's no baking except for the crust and you're going to love it, especially if you love eggnog. So let's go ahead and see what you need. oven to 350 degrees. We are only cooking our crust for eight minutes. This is the only cooking part of the recipe. So the first thing that we are going to do is make our shortbread crust for the bottom of our cream pie. For this you are going to need a cup of almond flour, a half a cup of melted butter, and three tablespoons of brown natural sweetener. I'm using Swerve Use whatever you enjoy and whatever you have access to. So you are going to need instant sugar-free vanilla jello pudding. Make sure that you get the instant. I don't think they make sugar-free cook and serve, but you definitely want the instant. You are going to need a cup and a quarter of eggnog. We have an eggnog recipe in our holiday cookbook from uh, 2019, so if you need keto eggnog, definitely check out that recipe and I will have it as part of the recipe on the blog and the video. I am going to be using whole nutmeg and I'm going to be grating it. You could use jarred nutmeg, but I love fresh nutmeg and that's what I'm going to be using for our eggnog cream pie. You are also going to need heavy whipping cream because I am going to be whipping heavy cream and I'm going to be adding it into our pie. So you're going to need about a cup of this to make two cups of whipped cream. You are also going to need some kind of pie pan or dish. You are going to need several bowls. I have one bowl for mixing my eggnog into my instant pudding and I have one bowl for whipping my cream. You are also going to need a hand mixer or stand mixer, whatever you have, and you are going to need attachments. So to make my very favorite classic keto shortbread crust, you need one cup and a half of almond flour in a small bowl. To that almond flour, you are going to add a little bit of sweetener. I have three tablespoons of brown swerve here. You could use white swerve, but I like the depth of flavor that brown gives here. And I'm just going to combine that a little bit just to incorporate our sweetener into our almond flour. So I have been making this crust for many years now and I love it. Anytime I have a dessert that has crust, this is what I am using. It is very reminiscent of regular shortbread because traditional shortbread is just flour, sweetener, and butter. And so this is very similar, only you're using almond flour instead of regular flour. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pour the melted half a cup of butter into our mixture. And I'm just going to start working that around and incorporating it. Okay, so you can see that it has pulled together, and I'm just going to put this in the bottom of my pie dish. So just like traditional shortbread, if you find that your mixture is too loose, just go ahead and add a little bit more of the almond flour. You're looking for a wet sand texture, so when you go to the beach and you see wet sand, that's about the texture you're looking for. So you can absolutely add more flour if you find that your butter has made your mixture too soft. So I am just going to start spreading this around on the bottom of my baking dish. You can also use your clean hands. I find that that's generally easier because I can get more control than using a spoon. And you just want it even. Now my pie plate is about nine and a half inches. You could use a smaller pie dish. You could also use a springform pan if you wanted. You could also just use an eight by eight baking dish or something like that. You don't have to do this in a pie dish, but I am going for the cream pie look. So that's what I am going to be using. But of course use whatever you have. I liked this particular pie dish because the outside of it looks quite Christmassy, even though the inside is a little bit more floral. Okay, I am 
I'm just spreading up the sides a little bit, just taking my time, because you want the bottom crust to be fairly thin, because this is just the bottom, and it will be nice to have a bit of a lip of crust around the outside of our pie, or whatever type of pie you're making. So this is just going to go for a very short ride in the oven, about eight to 10 minutes until it's just set and a little bit golden. And then it is going to chill in the refrigerator for a minute while we make the rest of our pie ingredients or whatever you're going to use in this shortbread crust. Okay, I'm going to pop this in the oven. As I said, 350 for about eight to 10 minutes. So while our shortbread is in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and do our eggnog mixture. So I've put the pudding mix in the bottom of the bowl and I'm going to go ahead and put our eggnog in. So once again, that is one and one quarter cups of eggnog. And I'm just going to start mixing it. So this is going to create a custard because of the instant pudding and the eggnog. So it is starting to thicken. I'm going to go ahead and add my rum extract and some nutmeg. So I'm going to be adding some rum extract. That's going to give it that really traditional holiday flavor. A lot of people like to put alcohol in their eggnog. This gives you the feeling of that while still making it a family friendly dish. I'm putting about a teaspoon of rum extract in there. I'm also going to put quite a bit of fresh nutmeg. You can, of course, use jarred and use however much you would like. Nutmeg is my favorite. I'm just going to incorporate those two ingredients. see that it is reaching pudding consistency and that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to whip our cream. So in a separate bowl I am going to go ahead and start mixing one cup of heavy whipping cream which is going to provide for us two cups of whipped cream. We are not going to need to sweeten this layer because our pudding mixture was already sweet. our whipped cream. Okay, there is our shortbread crust and as it cools it's going to sink down and it is ready to fill with whatever you would like. So now I'm going to fold our two cups of heavy whipped cream into our eggnog cream mixture. And I'm just going to combine these two together. Okay, so there it is, and we are going to put this in the refrigerator for a minute until our crust cools down, and then we will put it inside our crust. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the eggnog cream mixture into the refrigerator while I'm waiting for the shortbread crust to cool. Now if you are making a large shortbread crust like I did. Like I said, my pie dish is nine and a half inches. You could add additional whipped cream if you want more filling for your shortbread crust. That is completely optional. Okay, our crust has cooled and I'm going to go ahead and put our eggnog cream filling inside. I'm just going to go ahead and put our filling into our cooled shell and then we are going to let this sit in the refrigerator for at least four hours or overnight. I'm just going to put everything in the center and then I'll spread it out. Looks beautiful. Rich and creamy. Smells delicious. I wish you had smell a vision because this smells like Christmas to me. Okay, I am going to cover this and then I will see you 
in four hours or overnight. Okay, it's the next day and it is time to slice into our eggnog cream pie. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a cut right down the center. Yay! Now I'm going to take some canned whipped cream and just put a little bit. our low carb eggnog cream pie okay there it is that is our low carb eggnog cream pie hi hi all right let's see how it tastes mm, that's good i am surprised that it's good <laughs> on purpose because you never made this before that's really good and so you executed that very well thank you so good job, baby. Thank, Thank you. you. I think people will like it. And I actually do get a little bit of the rum flavoring that's in it. We did not use real rum. No, I don't. Th I think that would prevent it from setting up. I could be wrong. Oh, good yeah. point. I don't know. Alcohol can affect um, the way things thicken. Can it? Yeah. All right. I like it. It's really good. Looking forward to eating this tonight uh, for dessert. And yeah, good job. I hope this comes back next year in our own personal holiday rotation. Awesome. Thanks. Bye-bye.